let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now, it's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride, no surprise, it's like with Louie. People have different priorities. Ask anyone my age, and they can tell you exactly where they were when man first landed on the moon. Ooh, isn't this exciting? Ah, you got that right. I love this moonwalking stuff. Not me. Where was I when the Beatles played Ed Sullivan? Oh, haircuts. Mm, no idea. But ask me where I was when Cedar Knoll Cinema opened during the summer of my eighth year. <laughs> that one I know. I was one first thing. in line. Thank you. That was the summer I discovered the movies. I watched them all. Hey, 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 war movies, hey, musicals, movie. comedies, musical comedies, musical war movies, action adventures, even the foreign film. Uh -huh. Oh, man, you better watch it. Oh. Mm. Show me the applause! Show me the applause! And when they ended, I watched them over again. Eh, quit worrying. The boy's fine. Oh, how do you know? We've barely seen him all summer. Hey, I... Who's Lily? Andy. I'm going to the movies. Be back tonight. Right there. Your son. Oh, yeah, him. He's one of ours. I thought we just rented him. You're coming back to Tombstone with me, Doc. I'm not going back. Well, in that case, I'll be taking you back. You call it, Doc. Addicted to movies, huh? <laughs> well, we'll just need to win him back, that's all. You know, movies, they're evil. We need to lure him away from the dark side. The dark side? Yeah, well, that's what they call it in Curse of the Mummy. You ever see that one, honey? Brilliant cinematic masterpiece. Honey, you're babbling. How do we get Louie back? If only there was something we could interest Louie in. Something that's related to movies, but would get him out of the theater. Andy. I'm stumped. <laughs> Any idea? Well, I think I do. Hmm, seen it, seen it. Seen it twice. Seen it three times. Hey, what's the big idea? It's for you, Louie. Go on, open it. It's not my birthday. It's too warm to be Christmas. I didn't just get engaged. And and we don't celebrate Simchas Torah. So what's going on? It's a gift, that's all. Just for being you. Well... Usually I get sent to my room for being me. And that's exactly where you're going unless you open that right now. Wow, thanks. A movie camera. It's a camera for making movies. Get it? You don't say. Thanks, Mom, Dad. Happy Sim Cost Tour to you, too. Louie, where are you going? Where else? The movies. It's a double feature. Later. the movie. What's this thing for? <gasps> Whoa! I don't believe it. It's like one big movie. 50 cents. Huh? It's 50 cents. Make up your mind. Are you coming in or what? <laughs> well, at least we had eight good years with him. That's right. We'll just have to concentrate on the other ten kids. Space aliens from Mars! Get my radar gun! Louie, I thought you were at the movies. All right, Dad, work with me now. Move to Mom like you're gonna smooch her. What? Mom, you play hard to get now. No, oh, stop, me. Hey, that's my trigger arm. Mom, you go smooch Dad. Come here, Andy. Hey! <laughs> All right, let's stop that. Perfect! Music off, fade out. 
are you doing? No smooching in front of the kids. You know what that can lead to? But look, it's Louie. He's back. Oh, yeah, so he is. Tired of the movies, huh, son? That Hollywood tribe can't compete with the old American family. I can't believe I wasted my whole summer at the theater. How about we all have lunch together? Sorry, no time for lunch. I got work to do. What? You're only eight years old. What are you working on? My movie! I secluded myself in my room and wrote the script. Turns out, it wasn't so hard. What everyone says is true. These things practically write themselves. Mm. My movie was going to be an epic about a plucky, mm. yet tragic hero, Dewey Landerson. A stranger who arrives in a small town just in time to save the town folks from the evil land baron. Bring rain for the crops and win the heart of the most beautiful girl in town, the preacher's daughter. All right, <laughs> <laughs> so? I liked it, but... But? Well, the beginning's a little slow. The secondary characters need work, and the third act is kind of weak. Everyone's a critic. Interesting piece of work, Louis. However, I think it needs more conflict. Have you seen my book? How to Write a Script in Three Easy Steps. The Halloran Method. Louie, I read your script. I got a couple notes for you if you're interested. I'm not. How about a wedgie then? I'll take the notes. All right, let's start at the beginning. What you got is okay, but wouldn't it be funny if the main character was a dog? I quickly learned that the trick to writing the perfect script is finding the perfect reader. I think it's wonderful, Louie. The best script ever. You're not just saying that, are you? I wouldn't change a letter. With the script finished, it was time to begin casting. Sorry, Dad. You're just not right for the part. I know this part. I am this guy. Dewey Landerson's father needs to be a tough, crusty old guy with a heart of gold. I can do a crusty. I am crusty. Sorry, Dad. We're going in a different direction. Next. I think we got a little problem here, Louie. What kind of problem? Now, will you reconsider? Sorry, Pop. It's just not gonna work out. Uh, cast aside by my own son. Like most major productions, we hit a couple of snags during casting. Until my caterer came up with the perfect solution. There, that ought to do it. Oh, my. I am your father, Dewey. Your father. What kind of world did I bring you into? Very nice, Mr. Jensen. You'll hear from us. Next. Jensen? Jensen's playing the father? I don't believe that. No decisions have been made. What about a moi? That's the part I was born to play. Sorry, Dad. I told you. Our research came back, and, well, people just don't buy you as a father. I could be third man on the street, Larry. Don't make me call security, Dad. Next. By the end of the day, I had my cast. Grunewald would play the plucky hero, Dewey Landerson. Jeannie would play Janie, the preacher's daughter, and... <laughs> Give me a part if you know what's good for you. And I was lucky enough to get veteran character actor Glenn Glenn to play the villain. The first day of principal photography. It was time to establish the critical bond of trust between actor and director. All right. Dewey's been sent to his room by his uncaring parents. So he consoles himself with a donut. You with me? Sure, Louie. Whatever. Okay. I want you to play the pain of the moment. Ready? Action. Cut! Stop! No, that's all wrong. Dewey wouldn't eat a donut like that. You hold it in front. Not on the side. Sorry, Louie. Donut! There you go. All right, now. And... Action! Real depressed now. Lift the donut and... Cut! 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 What now? Dewey Landerson is a kind of guy who'd take a much bigger bite! One more time now. Tommy, donut! Cut. What now? 
Was the bite too big? Too small? I didn't chew it right? Dewey Landerson doesn't breathe like that when he eats? What is it? Ran out of film. That's it. I quit. But you can't. Watch me. I'm out of here. Uh, after one quick stop in the restroom. Fine. You were cut out of the part anyway. So I heard there were some uh, creative differences at the star. Just so you know, I'm available. Forget it, Dad. I'm playing the part myself. Here you go, Tommy. Just aim it at me and turn it on when I say. Man, you want something done right. Action. Okay, Evil Ernie has captured you and tied you down on the sidewalk. In any minute now, the street cleaning truck... How? What? How did he tie me down? Did my fight back? I mean, Evil Ernie's not that big. I don't think he... Hey, I'm not paying you to think. Louie, you're not paying me. Oh. Louie. I'm working here. It's Evil Ernie. He won't come out of his dressing room. What seems to be the problem, Mr. Glenn? When I agreed to do your stupid little movie, you promised me snacks, Louis B. Mayer. We got a bowl of sour balls downstairs. No green ones. What? Someone ate all the green ones, and I can't work without green sour balls. You got it. Tommy, more green sour balls. And huh? I want to do all my lines with a French accent. Understand, Louise? Forget it. No one messes with my art. You're fired. Louie, got a minute, kid? It's not a good time, Dad. I haven't seen a lot of screen time yet, and, well, I did give you the camera, remember that? Uh-huh. So I uh, worked up this gag, and, uh, well, uh, maybe you can fit it in. Uh, can I show you? Whatever. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen my tennis ball? <laughs> So, what do you think? No, I don't know. Look kind of fake. Fake? What, is he kidding me? Change of plans. I'm gonna be playing Evil Ernie now. But you're playing Dewey Landerson. Well, wear a different hat. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I rewrote Janie's scenes. Excuse me? I don't think Janie should be such a victim. See, I see Janie as a take-charge kind of gal who unties herself from the railroad tracks. I want to give her some spunk, some life. Uh-huh. So, what do you think? I think you're fired. Hey, Tommy, put on a wig and tie yourself off. <laughs> There's turnover on every movie set. Creative differences, scheduling conflicts, you name it. Are you ready? Ready. Action! <laughs> My set just happened to have more turnover than most. All right, Louie, I've been working on this all week. Watch this now. So, what do you think? Perfect. Now, can you do it one more time for real? Forgot to focus. What? You know how many bones I just broke? And I appreciate every one of them. Now, whenever you're ready. That's it. I quit. And... Action! Uh, darling, if it's not too much bother, could you possibly bring me a beverage that is slightly cooler than room temperature? Hmm? No, 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 no! Is there a problem? Um, how do I put this? You didn't quit that pathology job, did you, Mr. Jensen? Move it, toddler. You're fired. But I didn't do anything. Exactly. Oh, dear. I spent the last weeks of summer and all of my allowance finishing my epic. None of my friends stopped by to see me. Clearly, they all knew how important this movie was to me. I worked all day. Time lost all meaning. Louie, what are you doing? It's 11.30 at night. Art happens at all hours. I finished editing, and it was almost time to let the world share my vision. But first I brought in a test audience. I had to know if the movie was as good as I thought it was. It started off beautifully. The credit sequence was perfect. And 
then, it was all downhill from there. Gosh. It was, quite simply, the worst movie ever made. I had wasted my whole summer. Right there, I decided I'd never make another movie again. Going. Where else? The movies. What about your little film? Well, what about it? Wait! Hello! Excuse me! Come back! Bad, just needs a little tweak here and there. <laughs> One, please. Oh, let's see. Let's put little Jeannie's scene back in. How about this? Oh, thank you, honey. She's so cute. And the Grunewald boy, very talented, that one. Hey, kid, show's over. Time to go. I'm waiting for the next one. Yeah, that's nice, but that was the last show of the day. Yeah? So what's your point? It's on the house, kid. What? Oh, no! Come back here, you bad person, you! <laughs> Stay right here. I have a plan. <laughs> didn't make one bit of sense, but no one cared. They've loved every frame. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is quite an honor. I want to thank everyone who helped me with my movie, even though you all probably hate me now after I fired every one of you. It turns out that really, only one person should have been fired from my movie. And that's me! Yeah! I especially want to thank my editor, my mom, for digging through the trash and finding the movie I missed. Well, thanks again, everyone. And one more thing. I start my next movie tomorrow morning. Anyone who wants to help, meet me at my house at 9 a.m. Donuts are on me! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> thanks, Mom. Who cares about moon landing and the World Series? You remember what's important to you. Me, I remember every single movie I ever saw. Green potatoes! Good morning! Yes, it was fun, wasn't it? And I remember exactly Thanks. where I was when I learned that people can be forgiving. Hey, Louie, over here. Third man on the sidewalk. Am I perfect or what? Like a speed bump? I changed my mind, Dad. You're hired. 